Hey guys, iOS 7.0.6 has been released and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS device on the latest version of 7.0.6. Now this is Evasion 1.0.6 just recently released by the Evasion team and it will work on iPhone 5S, 5C, 5, 4S, 4, all iPads and the iPod Touch 5th generation on iOS 7.0.6. And just to show you, I am running it on my 5C. And really, I can't believe Apple did not patch the iOS 7 jailbreak in this version, as well as many other bugs that I've seen. This is just responsible for an SSL server bug. So let's go ahead and begin. So with your device plugged in, we're going to need to download the latest version of Evasion, which is 1.0.6. You want to right click on a Mac and select open, otherwise it won't let you. On Windows, select right click and run as administrator. So with your device plugged plugged in, go ahead and just select jailbreak and that's it. All it requires is your patience for about five to 10 minutes and then it will be done. And in just a moment here, it will ask you to actually slide to unlock and go inside and click on an icon and that's it. And you guys are pretty much done. So this evasion jailbreak, I cannot believe how many things there are compatible with it already. So I'll be releasing a couple of videos of that soon. I've just been so busy, so busy shipping stuff out for people. And uh, yeah, I'll be posting a couple more videos soon. Now, what I was surprised to find out about 7.0.6 was that it didn't actually patch too many things. It was just for one straightforward bug. And 6.1.6 .6 was also released for the iPhone 3GS and iPod Touch 4 generation. And I'll be doing an update video on that as well. Anyways, in a moment here, you just want to slide to unlock and it'll ask you to select the evasion icon. You'll just open it up and the jailbreak will continue as simple as that. Now, the number one question I get when people ask me, should they jailbreak is, will it slow down my device? And I found that evasion is actually one of the best jailbreaks I've ever experienced. It's just fast. It never crashes depending on what you install, of course, but the jailbreak itself is very stable. So you guys can't go wrong with that. Anyways, once your device does reboot, you will find Cydia on your springboard and it's just as simple. You guys are done with the jailbreak. You're not fully jailbroken, untethered, so you can't turn your device on and off, no problem. And I don't see Apple releasing a new firmware until 7.1. So once 7.1 is out, guys, do not update. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Peace.